A lot of what you select on analytics will have a fact sheet icon next to it. So funds have a fact sheet icon that will take you to the fund fact sheet. A portfolio has a fact sheet icon that will take you to the medium scan. And sectors are no exception. They'll also have a fact sheet icon that will take you to the sector fact sheet. So to find one, click on the sector tab on the left hand side. Uh, locate the universe of the sectors you want to look at. So in my case, it's going to be unit trust and OICS. There's all of the different sectors attached to that universe. Click on, say, the global sector and click on add. And straight away, you get the fact sheet icon pop up. So click on it. And it will take you to a page that will give you a load of information about that particular sector. So how many funds there are in the sectors, how many providers, the average FE risk score, the best performers, the worst performers, most volatile, least volatile. It's quite a damp, dynamic um, page as well so you can flick between different time periods and the data automatically changes underneath. You've got a performance tab that will show you the performance of that sector, also a members tab that will show you all of the funds within that sector and some performance statistics beside each one and again a link to the fund fact sheets on the left and little green icons that will allow you to ping those funds back to your main screen if you want to run further analysis on those. A breakdown tab will show you the kind of aggregated asset split, sector split, regional split of the entire sector and a historical breakdown to show you the historical asset allocation of that sector in sand charts. Coming back to the main screen, analytics offers you a wealth of different sector sets. So we've got the, the standard sectors, unit trust, noix, pensions, bonds, etc. But you'll see that we've separated our database into lots of different universes and there's going to be quite a lot of duplications intentionally. So for example, if I'm looking at the unit trust and OIC universe, I may only want to look at passive funds. So some years ago, we stripped all of the passive funds out of the unit trust and OIC um, universe, pasted them into their own universe called FE rated passive investments. Um, so we could create our own sector sets for passive funds. So if I'm an advisor looking for a good passive fund and want to look at sectors specific to passive funds, I can click on that universe instead. And as I said, one of the main reasons we create our own universes is to create our own sector sets. Exactly the same with risk targeted multi asset funds. Some years ago, the volatility managed sector was produced. And so if I want to find a decent volatility managed fund, I can go straight into the unit trust and week universe. And at the very bottom, there's a volatility managed. The problem, inherent problem with the volatility managed sector is it's a bit of a catch all for all risk targeted funds. So invariably, if I go into that sector, I might have 300 funds. There's going to be a good mix of low risk, high risk, medium risk, balanced etc. So it, it's not very good at separating all those different funds up into specific sectors that relate to the level of risk those funds are actually taking. As I said, it's a bit of a catch-all. Um, so what we did is we created our RTMA sector. So for any advisors using risk-targeted multi-asset funds, if you scroll down to risk-targeted multi-asset, you'll see we've created our own sector set. So if I'm looking for defensive risk targeted funds you have the defensive sector balance growth etc and once again whenever you add them in you'll get the fact sheet icon to take you straight to the sector fact sheet exactly the same for offshore funds as well if i'm looking for decent global offshore funds all our offshore universes are built in the same format so if you found that tip useful as ever if you've got any questions feel free to contact our help desk either via live chat in the bottom right hand corner the contact us tab on the left or training and guides on the left too.